Welcome back, folks, to Midnight Salmon Galore Competition Guide here in Kanik Creek, Alaska. So the rules are you have 30 minutes to get the biggest and smallest uh, salmon of any of the types. And you can only use keep nets. The rods will not. You can use any rod that you want. So I'm going to show you the setups that I use. This is a comp I do generally very well at. Um, but this is the setups that I use here. The bobber does not matter. You can use a smaller bobber if you'd like. But the more important thing is shrimp on a number 6 to a number 10. It doesn't matter. Uh, and 10 inches down on a Phoenix. And if you need to, you can pause through that. And this is my setup for the unique Chinook. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and spawn in at Taming the Kanik. And we are going to go ahead with our Phoenix and come right over here. And we're just going to try to get anywhere from a 2.3 to a 3.5 um, pink salmon. You're just going to cast, and I'll generally let it float down until about right here at the end of my rod. Um, now, this is going to be at night, so I'm just showing you this during the day. Uh, and you, like I said, you're going to want like a 2.3 pound or a 1.1 kilogram to a uh, 3.5 pink salmon, or a, I think that's a 1.6 kilogram pink salmon. Um, and the mark for this spot is, uh, let's see, 69.46 and 17.9 if you want to put it on your map. And this is generally where I throw to, and this is, you know, so if you need that mark as well, uh, go ahead and put that on your map. And then for the big uh, Chinook, I use two spots, and we're going to go over there right now. You're going to spawn at the Hunter's Cabin right here, and you're just going to go straight out here, and we're going to go to that stand marker right there, and we're going to go ahead and cast to the right here, folks. And I generally will use three speed, and I will go in the middle. Sometimes you can go real low if they're not biting well, but you can cast anywhere from here to here. Um, and if you guys need the marks, I will pull them up here in a second for you. Um, this is a spot one. I will just catch a unique here. It won't matter the size. I'll just try to bring it in. And there is a stand marker. And there is uh, the marker. You guys can pause to go ahead and put that in if you need to. But anywhere to the left from there too will work. That's the stand marker. And then also I will give you guys the marker for down here before we go down there. But you can put that in as you want right there. And we are going to go ahead and just walk down there from here. Uh, so... When we go to spot two the, the, for the salmon, um, as you guys know, you can catch them also from this third island, but don't catch them there because you're not going to be able to catch them from either of the other spots. So we're going to do the bottom of the map and uh, island one, that first spot there. So And also for spot two, if you're lucky enough to get down here um, and get your second unique, uh, which I generally have no problems with. But one thing to note is if you guys have a uh, a small first one, like a 50 or 40 pound unique, you guys can come down here. And if it feels like it's another small one, just let it off your hook and recast. You can catch another one. The, uh, you will not count. It will not count against your spawn until you reel it all the way in so you can catch another one just fine so when i come down here i just go all the way to the bottom and i'll cast anywhere from right here to about right here and actually you can catch them over here as well but by this tree but they're a lot slower so i generally will go between here and here guys 
So hopefully this helps you out for Midnight Salmon Galore. We'll see you next time. Have a good one, folks.